Welcome back to Gadget Mad Lad. This is making a Mac a Nintendo game by Macro 2020. Sorry, XL Part 2 2020, whatever. <laughs> you get the point I'm making. Alright, so it's part two to the last one. You've not missed anything. So start where we need to solder the fuse, which is to them. So it says L E D C two and LED A2. These two little pads here, this and this, this little tiny this little come pre tinned as well, it's kind of mad, isn't it? Anyway, so I might have to put a little bit of solder on, but nevertheless, um, got a fuse there ready to go on there. I said I'd do two speakers, I don't, I don't know I'm going to do two speakers because I can find I've marked them there, if you, if you can see on the boards where the black markings are. The black marking leads to the ground and the red leads to the positive for the left speaker. Now, for, in order for it to be true surround sound, it needs to be left and right. So, I've had a lot, loads of left connectors from what I can see, but I can't seem to find the right one. So, it's just going to have one speaker for now. I, I might wire both to the same spot, maybe. I don't know. I'll figure something out. So, in this episode, you're going to see me do the fuse and take this off. Now, what, what I'll do, I'll do the fuse. And I'll solder in place the, what do you call it, micro USB, which I'll show you now. If I'm not already showing you, where is it? I've got it somewhere. Here we go. So the um, lightning, sorry, the micro USB is a lightning adapter. Snaps the lightning bit off. Soldered. Right in place, can you see that? Oh, sorry, looking at the camera there. So I just soldered them into place. It's a female one, by the way, not a male. It looks like a male from this point, but it's all closed up, you'll see it like that. I'm going to do it and show you there. So, that's what we'll be adding to the port after we're taking this off. So, flick the soldering iron on. Because we're going to be needing that. We're also going to need a fuse, which I've got to the right of me. I did want to get this done by the <laughs> end of the last episode. Or at least be past this point. But I am seriously slow. <laughs> and not only am I slow, but I'm a chatterbox. Because I can go on forever. All uh, right, so let's see it up. Uh, what can we do? We can... Here's what we can do. If anybody can see that board... That's a screenshot, I don't know anything like that. I knows where the bleeding hell the right speaker connection is. I've looked on this side all over. I know this looks like the wrong side because I'm assuming it's on the other side because that's where all the pinouts are. But where it says SPL0, on the DS light, from what I understand, it's SPL0 or SPL whatever for the speaker and it's SBR for the right speaker. But it's not on this, so... Again, really confused. But that's not an issue for us right now, so... What the hell? <laughs> I think we might be getting hot enough. It's getting hot in here. But I will not take off all my clothes. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not really. I mean, but I am, I'm saying that I'm not. I'm joking. Um, right, so let's just heat this pad up, see if it budges. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a little bit more solder on there because why the hell not? We'll try to put a more solder on there. I'll do. Uh, a bit more. A bit more. Ah, screw it, that'll do. Right, so we've got our solder on our pads, which technically didn't really need it, but. What the hell? So what we're going to do now, we are going to lower in a fuse which I'm reaching for to the right of me with my tweezers, which again like a little grain of salt, sand, whatever you want to call it. This should perfectly, perfectly go in. Well, I'm hoping it should perfectly go in because it's a wobbly little bugger. Right, so holding it steady with my hand. I'm lowering in the fuse, I'm eating up the solder. Hoping that it's going to drop in. 
Just being a bugger. Going, you bugger. Oh, God damn it. Alright, what I need to do? Move that fuse to one side and get in the big guns. Oh, yeah. Alright, don't recommend doing this when you've got a battery connected because it's metal, obviously, and it might cause shots. I need to weigh it down, so I'm using pliers to do that. I know they're not all metal, but. Oh, come on, you bugger. That's all. They have a tricky one to grip these, to be honest with you. Not the, not the tweezers. The actual fuse itself. Because it is really, really small. It's in a little bit of a hill. Oh, bugger. Because it's like a little sli you know, slight mound there. It's. There we go. That'll work. I think it might. <coughs> it wasn't slight, it wasn't quite flattening. So because it wasn't quite flattening, it was being a bugger to get into place. Which I should hopefully be able to sell, I don't know. Well, you'd think I'd be able to sell, I don't know. But I've got this budget, but it's coming back, it's coming forward a little bit, so I could deal with. Slightly knocking it back a little bit. A little bit more. Perfection. Because then we can see the pad underneath, and that gives us full access to the solder then. I just shouldn't need that now. I think that's good. I'm pretty sure it's good. It's got a little tempest on the safe side. Make sure my heat's turned up. Yeah, we're at the right temperature, so I think that should be a solid connection. So that, ladies and gentlemen, like we said last time, is the game by a macro. Well, if you're not bothered about using speakers and you just want to use headphones, that's all you need to do. Take your top bit off, which we're going to do now. But not right in this second, we're not. We've got more to do, haven't we? Let's get rid of this bugger, because this is going to be a bugger. Right, solder sucker ready. Check. Solder iron. Turn it up a little bit heat wise. So we're going to run 350 at the moment. We're going to 360 ish. It's a really crappy little dial, so I'm kind of just winging it. Alright, so plan of action, we're going to. Suck so, as much as we can off that, solder wise, as much as we can off that. In fact, what I'll do, I'll show you. So, here, this where this kind of thing connects, we're soldering, sucking that off. <laughs> sucking it off. <laughs> okay, um, so we're going to use the solder sucker to dispose of this solder from this pint as well, <laughs> and this pint, and this pint. Oh my god, I am immature. Alright, so we're getting the soldering iron ready. Whew. Deep breath, Christopher. Oh, Chris, people call me, don't call me Christopher. Right, here we go. Alright, so point of action now, we've got to kind of get in here and heat it up, and then and it comes off. So what we'll do, we'll angle this right, I'm trying to turn out the camera again for like the 10 billionth time. So I think I can angle that right here, that should work. Go nice and, there we go, get it nice and sizzled, frazzling and... I think we've got some but we didn't get it all. Just spit out the gooey bits. <laughs> right, so we load it again, we're getting it heated up and... 
And what I'm asked to do is pry this as we're doing it. We'll get, we'll get as much off as we can and then we'll go from there. So, hitting this side up now. I'm just leaning up against the players to give myself a little bit kind of leverage. Everything loaded and. Don't think that's got hardly anything in it. Oh, yeah, definitely got something. Again, just keep rinsing and repeating. If you've got um, solder work, that makes your process about a million times easier. I'm too poor to use to buy, use, <laughs> to buy that stuff, so. And a lot down. That's kind of preventing some crap from happening, but what can you do? Persevere. Another day, another dollar, whatever you say. So, switch it round, do the other side now. The plan here isn't to send to remove all of it, it's to remove as much as we can so we can come back in. I don't want to do this. Um, being left handed is a bugger. So, right, here we go. Yeah, that'll do. Well, we can, I'm sorry if you can't see that, I just need to get the angle right so I can get it because I'm going to singe something I need not to singe. Uh, the part I was getting to was, um, yeah, so we're ideally. Remove all the sold would be great, but plan it is to just remove as much as we can. So when we come back round again with a scalpel at the same time, if it's holding that in, we can pry it kind of thing, kind of loose, and that should separate it to the solder sets and jobs are good. And we'll have the separation that we need that would otherwise not been have would would have not otherwise occurred without us messing. With the, with the prying thing, so it's something like a crowbar with for like micro, micro. <laughs> Where am I getting micro from? Macro. Ugh. But fucking oh, part of my French. Um, so it all slipped out there. I didn't mean to say that. Sorry about that. So if it causes any offence, I try to make keep this as clean as possible. Um. Right, so we'll pry, we're prying now because we've sucked off as much of it as we can. So now we're going with this corner first of all, which is a little pull there. Should pry it loose. Yeah, I think that's on the trick. Make sure we're separated. Uh, what we'll do. Go there a second. And I will run the blade. Oh, just whew. Be careful if you're doing that, especially if you're doing a blade. Probably a plastic credit card would be the ideal thing there, but I was just making sure the solder joint was broken without tearing up the pad. So, again, I've never done this before, like I said, so this is my first time, but I like to do things <laughs> crazy. Not that this is crazy, I'm not like making a nuclear bomb or anything, but um. <sighs> This is the pain in the neck, but about being left handed. Uh, so I should be able to pry with that maybe. Try not to knock the camera you see because I'm a lefty. Um, sounds like there, that should do the trick. Maybe not. That's a good, but more safe place. Oh, that did a trick. That may do the trick. Let's find out here. Yeah, we've got separation, I think. Oh, well, we had separation. I can just get the... Oh, same about there. Let's hold on down a second, so I can get this blade in the side of it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So if I can just grab that again. Here, and pry it whilst I'm doing so. Yeah, we're good there. Make that set. Should be easily be able to run the blade through that. Again, it's been general. Yeah, that's done. Oh, well, that's them done anyway. That part we can pry. Oh, sugar. Oh, that was a lucky one for for me. That I tell you, because I'd pried most, uh, sucked most of the solder off the other giants. It just came up cleanly. Well, I could have gone a lot worse if we put that away. I could have used the pads up. Not that it matters, because we're losing the DS slot, but I would like to have the functionality to come back and put an R4 card in at some point. That's something I'd like to do. So that's at this point, I'm thinking, if I just do that, they should all just snap off, and I can just 
heat it, each one up, pluck it off, and jobs are good. And Bob's your uncle, Susie, so aren't they? We're good to go. There's a few more million wiggles, and we'll be there. <laughs> right, what I'll do, I'll call this an episode now. I'll finish wriggling this off and get straight back to the recording. So, we'll part three. I'm sorry I couldn't be a bit, bit faster. Uh, I wanted to try and. Okay, I didn't think it was all going to fit in in one episode, but I, try, I figured I'd get a couple episodes out in, in the process, you get me? So, tune back in for episode three of Making a Nintendo Game by Macro XL 2020. See you back for part three. Adios. Bye.